through um, as we go through this about questions, if you guys have questions. Uh, try to keep the questions relative to what we're talking about at the time. Um, unless you come up with something really good, uh, just throw it out there. Uh, let's see. Page. Yeah. yeah, it is on Facebook, and uh, it's only members that are sign up for Mike's Fit Life. Otherwise, you cannot be a member. Uh, well, well, Dumbbell well. is almost always better for better range of motion. So no, dumbbells is not always better for better range of motion. It's more range of motion doesn't mean it's a better range of motion. So somebody mm -hmm. just asked, is dumbbells better for range of motion? Let me ask you this: You ever squatted with dumbbells? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've well, seen people do it. That uh, okay, yeah, but I mean, no, somebody intelligent squatting Getting with dumbbells, used, no. Yeah. Um, so no, no, uh, just rotating your hands back, holding the bar on the squat is a straight bar, or also keeping your shoulders in a, a pinched position when you're doing inclines. Uh, that's a range of motion with a straight bar. So just answering your questions, no, all of it's good. Stop trying to, you know what the question tells me? You're trying to figure out a trick. There's no trick. Use dumbbells, use barbells. If you guys don't know, and I didn't read that question out loud, he asked, is, is range of motion, range of motion is always better with dumbbells. No, you just get more range of motion with dumbbells. Doesn't mean it's a better range of motion. Use both. <clears throat> so what do you think we talk about first? I think we should open this uh, Q&A thing and start. Can we talk about Heath Evans and why he missed this morning's workout? Oh, wait. Oh, Shh, what? He's still sleeping. Oh, he's still sleeping. So yeah, he's sleeping. We just want to let you guys all know, if you got Heath Evans' app, it's a complete lie. He <laughs> should have a sleeping app. Yeah, you should have a sleeping app. That's what you should have. I'm going to donate you an app. You should have a sleeping app. Donate app. Yeah, that's... I'm ready when you are. Oh, so Alex, how do you pronounce your name? Just tell me your Russian. My real name? Yeah. Alexei. Alexei, okay. Alexei. <laughs> Alexei. It's kind of cool. I can't say that name up here. Alexei. 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 Like later on, you will see Titan. He will come down. Okay. We're alive. Yeah, I'm cool. We're live. Yeah. Hello, boys and girls. Всем привет, ребят. Ну что, я как обещал, мы в прямом эфире с Майком. Сейчас будем отвечать на ваши вопросы. Here we go. You know something in Russian, right? Ah, до свидания. Пожалуйста. Goodbye. Hi. So I'll save that. Пожалуйста means thank you, right? Yeah. Спасибо. Спасибо. Пожалуйста means please. Oh. Yeah. Well, you got some serious questions going on. Uh, some of them are, Tens some of them not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna let you guys know. We At are not point, more level. Just saying hi. Okay. Yeah. I like how you're out angling me on this side. You wanna no, swap? No, no, no. I'm good with this. I'm good. Because <laughs> my working side is this one, so it, I'm oh, not in a good position. So you've been talking like this the whole time, <laughs> yeah, facing like away. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Look at this setup, Mo. Listen, you, what do you think he did after we told him that we could do live, which he, did, he didn't know that you could do live on YouTube. So you after can, you can tell your fans him, that uh, wait, we told you to do live? <laughs> so after we told him that you could do live on YouTube, he goes, really? He went home? No. And he went on there, and no. he practiced, no. and he searched. It's my first time he, when I opened it up, no. Yeah. You know you did it at home. No. I did it once with my phone. With the phone, it's much easier. You just click a couple uh, of Alex, buttons and it's... You know, the only reason why I'm okay, trusting yeah. this is it's because cute, you never cute. lie to me. Yeah, yeah. And you're not telling the truth. You guys already have and this you're European LA, bond. So, you're not from LA, so you know <laughs> She's not a fan of LA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Zach is telling us... Yay or nay? Okay, so... I'm going to show you this real quick before he puts this out. Okay, show me. Uh, okay. I got a question for you if you'd like a question. That. Ooh, do you like this? What's your si size of your biceps? <laughs> 21 inches. Nice, yeah. You like that? 21 inches. 20 to 20 21 inches. inches. What's that? Centimeters? Is that what it is? Centimeters? I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm going to tell you right. So it's that one or the lighting there? No. That one. That one. <sighs> 
размер руки 53 сантиметра. Okay, there is a good one. Yes. Uh, Alex asked Mike, uh, what should the man do who's uh, not having very good genetics? Uh, should he just like live with this uh, and uh, don't work out too hard? Uh, just do it for fun or should he still uh, fight through it? Um, it's a question. A вопрос of I'm free. Сейчас Mike будет отвечать. How old is he? Uh, it's going to be hard to okay. ask. Okay, yeah. okay. I'll say this. Um, uh, to answer the question, first of all, uh, I'm not going to go off of him saying what good and bad genetics is. He may be out of shape and he doesn't know he has good genetics. This is the first thing. Mm -hmm. Second thing would be this, always fight through it. Mm -hmm. I need you to be the very best you you can be. Don't compare yourself genetics to other people. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. In question, the I'm free, по-моему, пользователь называется. Он спрашивал по поводу плохой генетики. Если плохая генетика, нужно просто смириться с этим или все-таки пытаться и тренироваться так себе в легкую для себя. Или, или все-таки пытаться пробиться через свою генетику и рвать, что называется, задницу. В общем, Майк сказал, что, во-первых, часто бывает, что люди, находясь не в форме, там, допустим, с излишком жира там или чего, они просто не понимают на самом деле, какая у них генетика пока они не избавятся там от этого лишнего веса. Вот. И, в общем, он всегда за то, чтобы пробиваться, за то, чтобы прорываться и идти на перекор, то есть тренироваться. Его ответ не смириться, а тренироваться и пытаться пробиться через эту, может быть, плохую генетику. So you kind of explain that the two two aspects. Yeah. Okay, I got a good question over here, mm -hmm. and I think you could sum this up pretty good. And you can let them know uh, that I got a question about uh, this guy has cuts, he's ripped, mm -hmm. but he can't get size. He needs to uh, eat. Yeah, eat more. Yeah, I have the same problem. I can, I can, I can get cut real fast, just like that. But gaining is the biggest problem for me. I have to eat tons of food. I have to eat. Uh, help myself with enzymes to uh, work this food through. Oh, so yeah. you don't even, you, you don't even digest it well I and utilize it. No, no, yeah. That's, that's great. I'm okay. going to talk further about that. That's huge. Mm -hmm. That's its own video right to, there. When I'm trying to gain weight, when I'm trying to bulk, I have to help myself with enzymes. Otherwise, I just don't eat enough. Wow, that's, that's, uh, see, it, it, I, hopefully you guys heard that. Uh, it's something I don't even think of, which is great, and that's why I like uh, sitting down with you or others that are elite, is I've never had a problem. I come from a family of 10, and so we are taught at a young age, you eat, and then you get your second meal fast as you can, because if you don't eat, they're all eating, <laughs> and the food's gone, right? <laughs> so it's like a whole bunch of dogs going to it's one bowl of food. World. Mm. <laughs> get the food. So I never had a problem eating, and so cool. <laughs> I can get monstrous quick. Um, and if I just take away calories, then I get sliced quick. Mm -hmm. um, but I never thought about the aspect of somebody that maybe didn't grow up that way, um, and so you're, you're 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 not used to kind of doing that, and your body's not used to kind of forcing that food. Mm -hmm. So you take enzymes to help utilization of those nutrients mm -hmm. and digestion of those nutrients. Mm -hmm. Love that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys got that, okay? Ребят, в общем, вопрос э, с э, вопрос был по поводу питания. В общем, парень говорил о том, что э, он очень легко сушится, но совсем не может набрать. Я Майку сказал, что у меня та же самая на самом деле проблема, и что я, когда пытаюсь набрать, э, ухожу в массу, то я использую энзимы для ферменты, для улучшения пищеварения, просто чтобы успевать больше съедать, чтобы помогать усвоить своему организму больше макронутриентов. Поэтому вот он в восторге, он не знал, что я подбрасываю энзимы и говорит, что как-то об этом хочет отдельно поговорить, может даже выпуск снять. И рассказал о том, что у него 10, 10 там, человек было в семье, 
и что у него никто в семье лицом не щелкал, а если ты не ешь, тут же подлетает брат, он съедает, или еще пять собак бегает под, под столом, и они тут же подметают все. Поэтому, если что-то клалось, клалось на стол, то тут же все Майк съедал, сметал, то есть у него с аппетитом всегда было прекрасно. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Yeah. We've only done some isolation. Yeah. So we do got to go uh, some squats. Awkward positions. Uh, no, I'm thinking class. straight power lifting. Uh, what we did the first so time. The first time is yeah. awkward positions. How sore were your legs after? They were very sore. I did not have any problems with my knees or lower back like I was expected in these movements. So I'm happy and uh, muscle soreness is good. Yeah, I love that. Um, because somebody over here asked me about I changed their life going to low bar squats. And this is something um, which is hard because I want common sense to come into play. Um, so I, I do low bar squat maybe three to four times a month and then I'll go to an awkward position once mm -hmm. or twice a month. So the one goes to the foundation I always go back to. And the one thing I worry about people is they see me do a certain way, like I trained legs with you and we mm -hmm. did awkward positions. Then society sees that and they assume that's the only way I train. Yeah. So same thing with Russian followers. Now they think that uh, this is the only way I, uh, I train legs now, like you taught me. And they're telling me, well, you can't get, grow your legs with these exercises only. You have to do the basics. You have to do the regular movements. Like, So why do they assume that aspect only? I don't know. They just uh, uh, make their conclusions on what they see, I guess. Hold on one second. What was that? They said they want to do the right up for the Russian, like a small one? Nothing. All we get is Russian. Okay. That's all we do. it doesn't hurt. Okay. We don't go the other side. Maybe links to uh, Instagram accounts of Heath, mine and Mike's. And or not Heath's. Yeah. Did you no. send the right up and that email in Russian to them? Right, no, no. Oh. I just gave you the title and the picture. Okay. So Does it have to write something in Russian? Just links to our Instagrams. That's, That's it? it? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, there is one in English. Oh, really? Yeah. All right. Wow. From Kazakhstan. Respect for your words. I got a question. How can I develop myself? I mean, I want to reach my potential. However, I got failed when I tried to do something. Agjan Sarjumulli. What in English can I write? Sarjumulli. Right? Yeah. Mindset. 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 In one statement, he basically said what he wants to do and that he stopped and that he can never do it. So he says, this is my dream, but I'm a failure. Yeah. Let's drop that. Just Believe start every day, part. every day. This is what I want to do, now go do it. Mm -hmm. Stop the, oh, I'm gonna fail, or I failed before. We all fail. This is the time, go. Mindset. In общем, все от нас строим, он говорит. Акжан, это мы тебе отвечаем. И он сказал, что ты в одном предложении написал сразу, два заявления сделал. Первое, это то, что ты у тебя есть мечта, ты, к которой ты стремишься, и тут же ты пишешь о том, что ты терпишь поражение. Он говорит, что вот эту вторую часть нужно выбросить и вставать каждое утро с мыслью о том, что у тебя просто есть цель, и ты просто идешь и пашешь, и делаешь все для ее достижения. Все what, просто. What would your answer be? Well, close to yours. Uh, I mean, the, usually I get all the goals that I put myself for, like, uh, it's just a matter of time. Sometimes it uh, takes longer than I was expecting, but there was no any goal that uh, never happened, like, that I established for myself. So, uh, but it took up, it took some time for me to realize that. But you never point. ever failed? No, many times. Oh, wait a minute. So, we all fail. Absolutely. So why does... And we learn from it. He thinks that, that nobody fails, it succeeds. No, no, no. The ones who succeed, so, who succeed the most, they fail the most too because they try the most. Yep. I love that. I love that. Hopefully you guys got that as well. Uh, one of his uh, fans was just asking, uh, he wants to be a success, he, he dreams of it, uh, but he keeps failing at everything he tries. <clears throat> Here's a side note for you guys, uh, for both you guys. Um, 
I've made my name through health and fitness and through gladiators and TV show spots um, is how I've made my name. Would you say that's kind of right? Yeah. Okay, and, the, and but the, my ultimate goal is to do, um, I've done movies, but I want to be the lead guy on a huge opening movie like Arnold and Stallone. Um, and you know how many times I've come close to that and keep not getting it? 20, 29 really? years. 29 years I have failed and not got it. Uh -huh. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. And right now we're, we're up for Hercules again. Do you think I'm going to give up? But it's 29 no. years. You can't beat the guy that doesn't give up. And, and, and what would I want to do if not try? Go get a nine to five job or something? It's, yeah. it's, so for both Go you guys. Go like Yeah, it's, it, for both you guys, for everybody here, and you tell them this, is that uh, uh, it, the stuff you really want is hard. And you're gonna fail and you just keep driving. Yeah, that's, that's a very good one. I will translate it. Ребят, по поводу, продолжаем по поводу цели, достижения цели. Вот Майк рассказал о том, что на самом деле он всегда мечтал тоже о актерской карьере всю свою жизнь. Он хотел всегда тоже, как и Арнольд, быть настолько же востребованным в киноиндустрии. И он занимается этим, работает над этим 29 лет. И ему 29 лет это, как он говорит, не удается. То есть он постоянно эти 29 лет терпит поражение. Ну да, у него есть роли, да, он там получает что-то, делает. Но это не тот, не тот результат, к которому он стремится. И тем не менее он все равно не останавливается. И вот сейчас ему 50 лет, он продолжает ходить на прослушивание, продолжает сниматься в каких-то других кино, там, допустим. В общем, продолжает идти к своей цели. 50 лет, 29 лет попыток, 29 лет условно говоря, поражений, но все равно человек продолжает долбиться в стену. Это очень круто, я считаю. Алекс, tell uh, Mike that he's got a huge fan base back in Russia and uh, Ukraine. I love that. And, and uh, not only uh, Mike's fans, but Mona's too now. Mona's fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just to all the Ukrainians that are out there and Russians, oh, she's wow, I'm out. Okay, go So, uh, this movie here, um, was filmed all in uh, Kiev and outside of Kiev, uh, in Ukraine and um, in uh, St. Petersburg. Also, wow, went yeah. over to Germany. So, here's a movie I filmed over there, uh, and spent time. Ребят, короче, вот этот фильм uh, Barbarian, uh, в котором снимался Майк, фильм не новый, uh, но смысл, смысл в том, что он снимался в Киеве, короче, в Украине, mm -hmm. в Питере. Это было много лет назад, но это снималось на наших территориях. Это был... Was it the last time when you were in uh, Eastern Bloc? Uh, 2007. 2007. So 12 years ago. 12 лет назад. And this movie was filmed there. Like, Guys, this movie was filmed there, yeah. And there is a lot of... released uh -huh. worldwide. Uh -huh. So, beautiful though. I, I mean, for me, it was a very beautiful experience. Guys, keep it on Так, Samuel of Nikan спрашивает, может ли, хочет ли Майк, собирается ли Майк в России? Хотел бы узнать, стоит ли борцам переходить в зале на большие веса, либо же быть более подвижным. По поводу поездки. Okay. Uh, first part of the question. If you were planning on going to visit Ukraine or Russia? Yes. <laughs> I'm working on that. Mona, Mona's working on coming over to the yes. Ukraine and Russia again. Yes. Yeah. Mike's manager, Mike's wife, Mona, said that... Boss. Бас. В общем, да, Майк планирует, и его жена Мона этим занимается. На самом деле, если у кого-то есть... Все зависит от организаторов, от, от спонсоров. Если есть какие-то магазины спортпита или какие-то фитнес-выставки, которые вам известны, где, где кто-то может пригласить Майка, можете писать мне или просить этих людей, чтобы писали мне, я тоже помогу вас вести. Мы можем это все организовать с вами вместе, на самом деле. Просто понятно, что Майк очень загруженный график, 
но у него желание есть. И не исключено, что мы вместе, допустим, слетали бы куда-то или в Россию, или в Украину. Главное, чтобы был какой-то информационный повод и было какое-то мероприятие, которое бы, скажем так, финансово бы организовало это все. Exercises? Yeah. Well, two workouts a week, I would say, for one muscle group. And maybe uh, each workout, like three or four exercises? I would say that's about right. Um, so, uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, Alex right now is uh, uh, doing two body parts a week, in a sense. And when I say two body parts, it's like, for me, I, I usually do one body part a week, which is, means every body part once a week. Um, and then he's doing everything twice a week. What I will be moving into next week, um, solely, I'm telling you right now, solely because he's doing it, mm -hmm. is I'm going to start doing uh, every body part twice a week. And I'm going to do about the same, that kind of concept. Somebody asked here, um, three to four exercises, uh, but I'd also go off of how you feel. If you walk in the gym and say, I'm doing four exercises no matter what, um, that's not listening to your body. Uh, go in, uh, you know, get through three exercises. If you feel like you've done enough, uh, stop there. Um, if you feel like you haven't, um, go another exercise. Yeah. Let uh, these guys know. Да, в общем, Майк говорит о том, что uh, его спрашивали по поводу частоты тренировок, как часто он тренирует одну мышечную группу. И Майк сказал, что uh, сейчас он тренируется, его сплит uh, выстроен так, что он тренирует одну мышечную группу раз в неделю. Я ему сказал э, вчера э, на тренировке рук, что начал тренироваться два раза в день, и, и у меня получается, что каждая мышечная группа прорабатывается по два раза в неделю. И, в общем, он говорит, что раз ты на, так начал тренироваться, я тоже так попробую. Так что со дня на день он начинает тоже так тренироваться, то есть каждую мышечную группу два раза в неделю. Вот. I'm also saying if I start overtraining, that's because of Alex. So I just want to put that on <laughs> as well. All right, guys. Говоришь, что если поймают этого ретрента, это все из-за меня. I will say this though, uh, because I'm going to be upping uh, the workouts and doing more, I will take my calories up as well. And uh, I always say that there's no overtraining; there's just under eating. Mm. Um, so if uh, and again, you can't work out unless you recover. Uh, so it's all about the recovery. So I will be, this is a good learning phase for me because I haven't done two body parts a week since I was in my 20s. Mm -hmm. um, so this will be a great learning phase to see how my body reacts now at this age. Mm -hmm. uh, so again, uh, I will support it with nutrition. Um, first key point. And then also uh, really pay attention to when that soreness kind of goes away and I feel recovered. Because if you're doing chest on Monday and Thursday does it recover by Thursday uh, and do I need to lower down the exercises and go not four exercises but three exercises on Monday so I'm ready to go again on Thursday and then I get another three sets and the benefit of that is now I'm getting six exercises for chest a week relative to the typical four mm -hmm. from how I was training before but then it also goes back to nutrition if you can explain that to him. You might need sense. to go to lower your intensity, but knowing you, it might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and just to understand, when he means lower your intensity, he means like in the aspect of um, maybe not going as fast, um, maybe not going... Uh, balls to the wall. <laughs> balls to the wall. Get in there, hit it, um, but leave the gym having a little something in the tank relative to crawling out of the gym. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys? В общем, Майк рассказывал, продолжал э, обсуждать то, что он начнет тренировать э, все мышечные группы два раза в неделю. Is that Russian? Yeah. Okay. After you, after you finish, we'll uh -huh. stay with this guy. Uh, в общем, uh, he, uh, он так не тренировался вообще, либо тренировался oh. очень давно. No, no. Uh, yes. В таком возрасте нет, поэтому у него есть опасения, что будут проблемы с восстановлением. Но он будет увеличивать калорийность еды, будет помогать себе, как он говорит, добавками. Вот, так что думаю, что все у него получится. Немножко снизит интенсивность, но не в смысле, 
что уменьшит объем тренировок, а в смысле, что будет, уходя из зала, оставлять немножко, то есть еле живым будет выходить, а не так, как обычно, вообще мертвым. То есть много сил будет оставлять, много топлива в, в, этом, в баке, как он сказал. Okay. Так. Oh, it's just basically a wish. Hey, brother, I'm very glad uh, that uh, you are together with Alex. I want all your dreams to come true. I uh, shake your hand and uh, hi from Ukraine. I love it. <laughs> I love that. We're getting some uh, some Ukrainians and some Russians over on my page. Love it, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Moldova too. Where do you see it? Uh, где мы сидим? Uh, where, uh, where? It's at the Mike, at the door, Mike. It's his office. Yeah, this his is place. Really, his castle. Little podcast room. The castle. Hi, Alex and Mike. I'm from Kazakhstan. Hey, I we got an upper show. level, guys. Okay. Just so you know, Titans, we got an upper level. I'm telling you right now. Never mind, got the injuries. I think I got it. For example. Oh, good, good good question. Do you have uh, did you ever have uh, uh, injuries with your spine? Eager from Kazakhstan. Вопрос по поводу позвоночника. Были ли травмы позвоночника, Майк? When it comes to injuries or always on anything, uh, not just the back or the spine, um, I haven't. Um, I I started lifting by eight nine years old. I started power lifting hardcore by. 12 years old and I competed by 13 and 14 in powerlifting. Um, by 15 years old, I already uh, squatted and deadlifted uh, 550 pounds at 15 and a half. Um, I was 272 pounds by 15 years old. Um, Monster. And so, you know, that's 35 years of lifting heavy and it's always been heavy. So you got to figure that I've squatted over 500 for over 35 years um, and I've never had problems. And I think it goes back to uh, form. Uh, also, the, the little things people don't think about. Thank you so much. The little things people don't think about is, uh, and I think you've learned this, it's not just about uh, the muscle for me. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, the entire inner body, strengthening of everything. Um, connecting tissue. Connected tissue, that bone density. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, As we get older, what is the two things we lose? Bone tense, the bone... Uh, the like brittleness of the bones. Yeah. Nobody realizes that's our skeleton. That's what holds us up. That's what... The weight. Um, and when that starts deteriorating, that back and everything, the spine... Um, do you take a lot of calcium too? Um, I do take calcium. Um, I, I, I don't... No, no, I do. It helps me sleep. Yeah. Um, but I don't... I don't only do that. It is the weightlifting and healthy nutrition also helps bone density. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the biggest thing is weightlifting helps bone density more than anything. And, and especially for the women, for all you women, weightlifting is the number one thing. And I know you guys think it's cardio, but it's weightlifting. Uh, that keeps that bone strong and women just lose that bone uh, density so quick. Mm -hmm. So never been injured. And uh, after giving birth mostly. As far as I know, because they're giving up a lot of calcium to their ch children. Oh, yeah. There we go. They, they start having problems with teeth, with the bones. Okay, okay. So you learn something there, and, and most women usually have their kids by in their 20s and 30s. So. 30s. Nowadays. Yeah. Nowadays, 30s? Yeah. Is that what the study is? <laughs> yeah, right. Nowadays, 30s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, so should Keep I translate? Going. Yeah, go, go, 100%. В общем, вопрос по поводу травм, травм спины задавал парень. И ответ, в общем, нет, у Майка никогда не было серьезных травм спины. И он рассказал опять историю, ну, которую вы наверняка уже знаете, по поводу его успехов в юношеском возрасте в плане пауэрлифтинга, что он очень рано уже поднимал большие веса, уже выступал в пауэрлифтинге, очень рано много весил. Всю свою жизнь тренировался с приверженцем, всегда был больших весов. И в своих тренировках он всегда большое значение уделяет не только мышечному росту, но и укреплению связочного аппарата и 
костей, как ни странно. И он глубоко убежден, что э, тренировки... С большими это... весами помог... и плюс питание. Правильное, здоровое, э, наполненное хорошими минералами, микронутриентами. Э, оно тоже укрепляет кости. То есть связочно-костный аппарат, в общем, кости тоже с возрастом, они становятся более хрупкими, как вы знаете. И вот э, то, что он так интенсивно и с большими весами тренируется на протяжении всех этих лет и в своем возрасте, продолжает это делать, это он укрепляет свой скелет в кости. Тоже очень важно. I'm going to come back to this plateau question over here. Let's get another Russian question real quick, and then I'll come back over to uh, what should you do different if, you, um, if you're plateauing. Okay, so good question there. Tyler. Okay. Alex, have you thought to do a arm wrestling with Mike? Oh. <laughs> no. Alex, arm wrestling is uh, very. Uh, it's very easy to get an injury you doing gotta, arm wrestling. It's like the first thing. It's <laughs> gonna take on Mona. I know for a fact because any time when bodybuilders is asked to arm wrestle with someone or powerlifter. Injury Snap. just, just right, right there. So uh, let's uh, let's leave arm wrestling for arm wrestlers. Yes. <laughs> um, I got I got a couple interesting ones. Um, мы рубиться не будем, потому что это очень травмоопасно. Постоянно все, когда лифтеры или бодибилдеры, только они начинают рубиться на руках, сразу улетают какие-то травмы. И Майк со мной тоже согласен. И с Кириллом не получилось видео, потому что он поехал снимать видео и с каким-то выдающимся там американским армом просто на, на слабо начал там баловаться и потянул связку какую-то. Из-за этого вы не увидели видео за рубы Сарачева с Майком по жиму. I said that this is the reason why you did not bench with Kirill, because two days prior to that he went to one of the Americans famous arm wrestler. I don't, I'm not into arm wrestling, I don't know the names, but one of the biggest in the world. And uh, they they were just uh, oh, no. having fun, you know, like come on, let's do yeah, it. You're, you're strong. So he 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 went into his ego thing, you know, and he didn't want to fuck around, but he still went for it. And then he got himself injured, and he got back home injured with some uh, joint or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, that's the proof of what yeah. he said. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, that is a such a young kind of I guess thing because I, at expos people come up and go oh, I want to arm wrestle and I go no you already won you, you beat me it, it, it's um maybe if I was younger I would take those challenges but at this stage it's like it's we all did when we were like 10 or 15 years old yeah. maybe. Yeah. We're, we're stronger let's go let's go let's wrestle uh, I got two things over here one says do you incorporate um uh rest day Uh, I, I think you might not have been listening to this whole podcast. You can't train uh, unless you recover. Um, so if you guys are working out five days a week or six days a week and you're not eating right, you're not recovering, that's why you don't change. Uh, also, you're actually hurting your body. Um, do I incorporate rest days? 100%. I, rest day, I have uh, one to two rest days a week. Mm -hmm. um, when I say grind or no days off, what I'm speaking about is life. Uh, in life, I take no days off. Nope. Uh, короче, uh, so, rest days. Yeah. Uh, в общем, отдыха он не берет. Майка спрашивали в его чате по поводу не отдыха. Отдых берет только тогда, когда чувствует, что сильно устал. А так говорит, что отдохнем уже после смерти. Uh, the, there is another guy. He's a special forces. Uh, Animals. Yeah, Nikolai Buzienko вопрос. Uh, Sounds like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Hey, I've been in uh, Special Forces for 10 years doing uh, trainings, of course, a lot of uh, crazy uh, workouts and a lot of crazy missions. And my body is very uh, beat up. Functional. Oh. No, no, functional. And he... Functional, okay, that's the word. And But his arms are very thin like like uh, like extremely thin and he's asking what why is why is this this way okay. and what, what can he do to fix that okay so there is a difference between um, uh, MMA fighters um, uh, professional athletes football players uh, um, the special forces because their training is uh, cardiovascular based or fighting based or um, 
all these kind of things to make sure that you can go no matter what. Mm -hmm. um, which is 100% the other spectrum of creating an art piece. Mm -hmm. And I think when, when people think they work out, that means they build muscle. And I think you realize this too. Building muscle is training smart, not too much, um, feeding it correctly to build the muscle, and then recovering. Um, so out of those three things, uh, what MMA fighters do, what pro football players do, and what special forces do, is they only do one of those three. But they actually don't even do any of those three. Uh, they train too much, which they have to do. Yeah. Um, they don't recover because they have to go right back into the same yeah. training. Um, and then the third thing is their uh, nutrition. Uh, they eat healthy, and there's a difference between eating healthy and eating right. Eating healthy just means that you have vegetables and you have your protein, you have your fats and carbs. Mm -hmm. Eating right means you're having a certain amount of calories at a certain time in a certain place so your body can recover, and, and well, then you take your calories up or down depending on what you're trying to create mm -hmm. with your physique. Mm -hmm. That's eating right. This is eating healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to tell them that, I hope you guys understood that. That's why uh, the majority of MMA fighters and football players don't look like Mr. Universe. Вопрос Николая Бузенко из спецназа. Привет, здесь лет спецназе. Тренировки нагрузки бешеные. Тело развито, руки все равно худые. Веревки что делать? В общем, Майк что отвечал на этот вопрос. Он сказал о том, что, конечно же, тренировки бодибилдеров отличаются от тренировок бойцов там спецназначения или или бойцов ММА. И там там работается, в основном прорабатывается основная выносливость. То есть, несмотря ни на что, чтобы ты мог продолжать продолжать двигаться дальше. И зачастую там и без еды, и без всего. То есть там совершенно другие цели. И э, работа идет не столько на мышечный рост, сколько на выносливость. И питание не столько э, нужное, э, сколько правильное, э, здоровое, как он сказал. Разница есть между правильным и здоровым питанием. Здоровое питание это просто овощи. Э, и, я не знаю, там какие-то орехи, а правильное питание – это сбалансированное питание с белками, жирами, углеводами, где достаточное количество калоража в зависимости от вашей цели. Если вы набираете, то калорий должно быть чуть больше, белков чуть больше, если сушитесь, то чуть меньше. Такой ответ. Ну, собственно, я думаю, что многие из вас это понимали, но, тем не менее, ответили на этот вопрос. Um, I got a good one over here. Okay. Uh... Uh, let me say that Go. we're promoting that, that, no, that, that we're going to have that video. I no, didn't say anything about it yet. Oh. Are we going to give him the good news now? Yeah, we're going to let We're going to do this, Mo? Yeah. Yeah. Are we live? We are going to be live here. It's 85% uploaded. Okay, wait for so. it then. Wait okay. for it. We're about we're seven minutes. In seven minutes, we got a little something, something for you guys. Okay, okay. Hey, hey, I want to give you something over here. Now, um, Asking about the bread merch, so let's ask the, the merch. merch. Yeah, let remember what I asked you about the, the, the training. How how can they order it from Russia and Ukraine? Go. Oh, it's just a question. How can they do that uh, with, with no uh, super expensive charges for shipping? If there is any other way, the clothing. Yeah. Um, uh, we are uh, for There's the clothing. No we're working on it, um, but right now it is, it's solely uh, just online. Online. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. We'll get there in time. I'm I'm not going anywhere. In a year, it could be completely different. A lot of different. my followers asking me, Alex, why don't you, why don't you, I, I send you money and you go buy something from Mike, and then when you go back home, you do, you get it back to me. This I'm is like, what we'll do. Me? <laughs> How many bags should I have? <laughs> I'm gonna have him manufacture my clothes is overseas. Is it that the, Yeah, the yeah. The Delete. Like yeah. It's probably smart Price of the shirt. To so work with him yeah. overseas and have him print our stuff. Uh, and sell that overseas. Oh, actually, I have my merch back, back home, home, so I, can, I, I, I could do that. Yeah, back. Oh, that's yeah, what we'll yeah, do. Yeah. So I will work on trying to create something where um, my line is developed overseas, and that way uh, it's not even Closer expensive. on yeah. our continent, yeah. Yeah, over yeah, there. Drones. So we'll continue to work on this. Um, this is going to be... This is a common sense one. This guy over here said... Uh, when you do do the exercises, how many reps and how many sets, and when you go heavy and when you go light. Now, this is going to go back to, I think, I think, well, you try to answer this first. 
uh, how do you feel when you go light? Well, somebody asked uh, uh, a question. He goes, so when you're training, you do four exercises. Uh, yeah. How many reps should you do? Uh, and then uh, when should you go heavy? When should you go light? That's Can you answer that? No. Or thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm glad you said that. So, listen, um, there's some people asking some questions here. Uh, and I need you to have common sense. If you think that there is a program that everybody should follow, um, and, and we can tell you uh, do three sets, eight reps, go moderately heavy, and that's the program, I mean, that's just, it, there's no common sense there, guys. I'm sorry, I'm just saying that it like it is. Um, so for the gentleman that's asking this, you need a personal trainer because you are a complete beginner here. You're assuming that I can give you a plan not seeing your body, not understanding where you came from, not, not knowing your background, not knowing your age, not knowing how you're eating. It doesn't work that way. Um, and that's why you need somebody. Uh, let me ask you this. You've been training for a while. Mm -hmm. Are you still learning? Um, yeah, every day. <laughs> when you got ready for your show, did you go to somebody else to help guide you for your show or did you yeah. just handle it yourself? Yeah, it's always better to have a coach. But why, well, why is that? You're an expert. Uh, because for the side listen, person, listen, for the side person, it's easier to um, do like real estimation of your shape because you can be subjective to yourself. Well, wait, are you saying that you're your worst uh, worst enemy or worst coach? Yeah, maybe. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> so he agrees, and this is the same as me. I am my worst. Uh, if I look at myself when I'm getting ready for a guest posing, and this is. Mona has learned this over the last six years. She pretty much doesn't say anything, but she gets to poke after I guest pose or do photo shoots because uh, I get into my stubborn ways um, where I go, no, no, I know what I'm doing this time. I know for me. And then I guest pose and then I look at the video after and I go, why didn't you tell me I, was, I wasn't eating enough at this time? I was overtrained this time. And I, we're our worst enemies, guys, and you need to go to somebody when you're getting ready. No matter how good you are, or how good, or I've been doing this for 41 years, have somebody else help you. Um, we could destroy ourselves if we just stay in our own minds. Plus, when you're getting ready, you're all stressed out, your brain doesn't work properly, so you can't track everything. And it's very good to have is someone that, to track you and to do it instead of you. You have a lot of stuff to concentrate on, like trainings and yep. just go through this, all these hard times. It's not easy. And it's it hard is to keep everything easy. in your mind, not to lose, uh, not to miss a moment of uh, drinking proper amount of water or eating proper amount of some minerals or some, I don't know, vitamins or whatever. This is important. Let them know this. Uh, Mike is asking about the тренера и почему вообще допустим так, такой человек как Майк когда готовится к каким-то турнирам или без твоего позирования почему он обращается все okay. равно э, приверженцем является приверженцем того что нужно обращаться за помощью тренера или человека который будет следить за тобой потому что э, так или иначе он не может к себе объективно относиться в процессе подготовки к подведению формы и нужен человек извне для этой цели. И э, второе, это то, что когда ты танцуешься, когда ты тренируешься, у тебя, у тебя просто нет... Э, ты можешь просто что-то упустить, потому что ты невнимательный, потому что ты слишком сконцентрирован на, на том, чтобы просто пройти весь этот адский, всю эту адскую подводку, и можешь что-то упустить. Поэтому нужен человек, который будет это делать э, вместо тебя рядом с тобой. Recreational procedures. Do, uh, what about recreational procedures? What is the minimum that you would recommend? What is he asking? I don't understand that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not really sure recreational procedures, uh, like recovery procedures. Um, oh, massage? Maybe something like that. Massage yeah. or some kind of stim therapy or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Um, Вопрос по поводу рекреационных процедур. Какой необходимый минимум? Что Майк советует? I am a terrible one at that. Um, I, uh, I do see uh, a chiropractor to be preventative, not because of an injury. Um, I do get a massage once a week, um, and it's, but it's not for the reasons you would think. Like most people get, I gotta get a massage, I gotta get this worked out. Mm -hmm. I do it before. 
Um, so everything I do is preventative. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll continuous to see a chiropractor, make sure it is in place. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather do that relative to wait until after the injury. Uh, and then I'd like to get a massage a week um, just to make sure the body is feeling good and healthy and, and also just releases toxins. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't do it for the purpose. And I, and, and I see this is happening tons now. People go into the gym. Uh, they spend like 15 or 20 or 30 minutes warming up and stretching out. And I'm like, wait a minute, you're 22 years old. You know, um, there, there's, a, there's a level of preparation. Um, and, and, and when you start your level of preparation and it's a 30 minute, 40 minute process just to start your workout, that is a workout. And, and then so, you burn out before yeah, they, you start. <laughs> so I, I, I know that what I do is, I'll, um, and I know this is a two part answer, but uh, uh, I try to save as much energy for the one thing I'm trying to do that day. And then afterwards, if I want to stretch, um, then I'll do it then. But I usually stretch during the workout mm -hmm. with the weights. Mm -hmm. um, so there's not a lot of secondary stuff where I see people going, they start rolling on the balls for a half an hour and doing all this stuff and taking five pounds and doing all this stuff. And I'm like, if you're already that banged up at 20 years old, what are you gonna be at 30? You're not gonna move by 40. 50, you're in a wheelchair. Is, is, is the process that I see how society's becoming nowadays. Mm -hmm. they, they, they treat their bodies as it is so weak um, and, and, and so fragile and it has to be warmed up in such a certain way before you even can start. So it's just a it's just a different approach for me. Um, there's a point of being prepared, and then there's a point of just being scared, and you're trying to do everything you possibly can before you start. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it, it's a, it's too much. You're not playing a pro football game. So you're going in, you're working out, keep the energy for the workout. Um, is is my approach, mm -hmm. and it's kept me healthy for 41 years. So. And, and I seem to anybody I train with uh, for the last 20 years, they come in and within two to three months, they're stronger than they've ever been. They have more improvement than they've ever been. And this is off of guys that aren't just in their 20s, but in their 30s or 40s or 50s. Mm -hmm. So there is a method that works there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that. Uh, так, вопрос был по поводу рекреационных процедур. Мы решили с Майком, что имеется в виду uh, массажи и прочие штуки восстановительные. В общем, что он делает? Он ходит к костоправу, но больше uh, для uh, превентивных, скажем так, uh, мер, а не потому, что у него уже есть какие-то проблемы, чтобы их не было на будущее. Для, uh, как это называется у нас? Mm. На всякий случай, в общем, я не знаю. Но, в общем, вы поняли. Массаж он делает каждую неделю, и растяжку он делает, как правило, он старается не расточать энергию свою, там, на миллионные какие-то процедуры по растяжке, еще что-то. Если у него есть тренировка, и он ставит ее во главу угла дня, то он все свои силы оставляет на эту тренировку. Главное для него пожать, там, по -по потянуть, он сделает это, и если у него останутся силы, он сделает растяжку, если нет, то нет. нет, но вообще растягиваться будет между в прям в непосредственном упражнении просто э, амплитуда максимальное движение и растягиваешься в каждом повторении и он сказал что сейчас вот очень интересная мысль сейчас в нашем обществе слишком уж сильно начали э, все акцентировать внимание на э, на но. на хрупкости нашего но. тела все делают по 30-40 минут разминки, растяжки, приходят в зал, начинают там вращать жгуты, вот эти 5-килограммовые гантели по полчаса, и в результате они перегорают еще до того, как начинают тренировки. То есть общество, фитнес-индустрия вложило всем, что нужно настолько прям печься о своем здоровье, что, в общем, вкладывается в мозги всем людям, что тела у нас настолько хрупкие, что это просто уже перегиб какой-то. У него философия такая, как вы знаете, что укрепление, укрепление тела происходит во время тренировки. И он не хочет относиться, ну, он не делает вот эти миллионные там растяжки, по 40 минут не разогревается, практически сразу приступает к делу. 
и э, разогревается в процессе разминочных подходов. И они сразу как бы, как, ну, вы видите наши тренировки, мы уже около 10 тренировок записали. Поэтому я думаю, что э, как Майк тренируется, вы уже знаете. Cardio before your workout or after your workout? What do you do? Uh, when I'm prepping, I do it separately. I come nighttime and do like separately one hour cardio. If I don't have enough time, then I'll do it, of course, after. Well, well you, you used to work. Because if I do it before, said, I don't have energy for, for a weights workout. Makes no sense. Oh. And you use the word, uh, what was the word you used? Um, obviously, you do it after. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so to you and me, it's obvious. Um, so this person says obvious? cardio. Well, this is this is society now. This okay. one, we got to go back to not common sense. Okay. So the question here for everybody is: uh, Do you cardio uh, before workout or after? Um, and let's let's figure this out. What do you use when you do the workout? You use uh, carbohydrates or sugars or that's your energy. Mm -hmm. um, and usually you should eat a meal before you go work out. That way you get the metabolism going, you're feeding your body. Um, and if you feed your body, that means your body will grow. And I don't mean like just bodybuilder size, I just mean healthy. So your, your thought or society's thought today is you go in, uh, you do cardio. So technically all you did is just burned off the glycogen you have, that's the sugar, the carbohydrates. And then you gotta try to work out. Now you have nothing to work out with, and so you start training, um, and you got a terrible workout. You got okay. nothing to pump the muscle, nothing to push through, and you're already tired from the cardio. So can you please, everybody, use some common sense here? Um, you you don't do the cardio before the workout. You work out, burns off the glycogen. That way you get on cardio. Guess what? You're instantly into fat burning. All right. And then if you go back to any kind of studies about this fasted cardio, if you go back to any of those things, check who the studies were done on. The studies were done on average people, and they were also done on long distance athletes. They weren't done <laughs> on weightlifters. Uh, they weren't done on people trying to build muscle. Um, so it's again, just if a study comes out and says, hey, fasted cardio is the best thing in the world. And again, this is what you guys are gonna do. You're gonna read something. Um, you're gonna start, you're gonna see a benefit from it. And for you, a benefit is dropping weight, mm -hmm. getting a little tighter. So now what you're doing is now you just said to yourself, hey, I'm gonna starve myself to get in shape. You know, fasted cardio basically started with uh, people getting ready for shows. Um, and so they had to cut their calories so much to get sliced. And then suddenly now it's the every housewife's go-to in a sense. And that's just, uh, it's disappointing. По поводу кардио, в общем, задал вопрос у него в чате человек, когда делать кардио, после или, или до э, силовой тренировки. Он призывал людей к здравому смыслу, конечно же, э, после, потому что если вы сделаете кардио перед силовой, то тогда у вас не будет никакой энергии, у вас нет ни сахара, ни гликогена э, в теле, и с чем вы, собственно, будете тренироваться имеется в виду силовая тренировка, поэтому кардио, конечно, после. И он еще не особый приверженец кардио натощак. Он говорит, вообще эта тема для выступающих спортсменов, это истощение организма, он за то, чтобы всегда кушать, чтобы всегда была э, еда, потому что это стало, вошло в такие тренды, что даже домохозяйки, которые там хотят к курортному сезону привести себя в порядок, тоже усаживаются на его тренажеры, на пустые желудки и доводят себя до изнеможения. Ему это не нравится. That's it. You want to get in the news? Yeah. We got good news. Короче, ребят, uh, in Russian? Yeah, you know what? Also do this right now. Do me a favor. Put, before you say, put your link right there. A link to the video, right? Link to your, uh, we are going to get something for you guys over here, and then we're going to also tell uh, our uh, overseas brothers and sisters of iron the same thing. Uh, what I would like you guys to know is that we did a great, great workout. 
Um, and it is uh, some great exercises in there. And I want all of you guys this week to do this workout. Um, and when you do this workout, make sure to let us know. Also comment below, also subscribe. Uh, Alex has a great YouTube page. Um, and so for all of my uh, English speaking um, and uh, overseas English speaking people, uh, I want you to be able to go over to Alex's page, um, subscribe to his YouTube channel and uh, watch the video. All right, guys, I am putting the English version over there for you guys to check out. And I'll put down a link right here on this feed and then I'll also put it over well, on uh, Instagram my is going page. Up right now. There we go. Так, ребята, в общем, видео мы публикуем прямо сейчас. Публикуем впервые на канале Майка Херна. Видео выйдет на русском языке. На канале Майка выйдет видео на русском языке с моей озвучкой. Ссылку я вот оставил. Я, у меня почему-то не получается закрепить эту ссылочку. Я ее буду вот сюда просто, я не знаю, добавлять. Вот еще раз добавил. Может кто-то подскажет, как это закрепление сделать. Что-то у меня пока не получается. Ну, в любом случае, в описании под, этим, под этой прямой трансляцией, после того, как я сохраню эту прямую трансляцию, я оставлю ссылку на видео, на канал Майка, если вдруг кто не знает. А, вообще, на Ютубе забывайте Майка Ферн и приходите на его канал. Плюс будет ссылка прямая на наше совместное видео. А англоязычная версия выйдет на моем канале англоязычном Алекс, Алексей Motion World. <laughs> what do you think of? Oh, I explain everything that the uh, Russian version is going to be up on your channel first time uh, in the history of Mike's, uh, Mike O'Hearn's uh, YouTube. There's going to be a video in Russian. So I told everyone to go check it out. It's a back workout. You guys will love this. You guys will love this. <laughs> I can't uh, publish it right now because I'm, I'm, I'm online, on, the, on the big I'm yeah. online on the big channel. So that is you guys will be able to go over the as soon as we're we're done. Yeah, here. the channel is Alex Emotion World. If I can yep, just type right it there, in. the type name. It. Yeah. That's the name of the YouTube channel, Alexi Motion World. So you just type it in, in on YouTube uh, search line and it's going to pop up over there. It's a back workout, uh, English version and Russian version is on uh, my uh, big uh, Newland channel. Um, try this. Type in real quick. What? Uh, YouTube.com backslash. K-E-O-H-E-A-R-N and then Titan, T-I-T-A-N, enter. That's the name of the uh, Michael Hearns channel. There we go. There you go. Um, so hey, please just let us know if you guys like this too. This live feed and question and answers. I'd love to know that. If they like it, then we could do an arm workout next. Ooh. Ooh. I see what she did there. <laughs> um, we're going to keep training <laughs> as long as he's here, uh, and then I will be overseas as well. Uh, I'm training over there. I'll be doing like the, what is that, Rocky Four? Is that where, is where it went over and in yep. the snow? Yeah. <laughs> Get my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go? Mm -hmm. Rocky IV, uh, Stallone did, uh, Rocky IV was in Russia. Yeah, it was in Russia. So where do you guys go? To where do we go? Yeah. Oh. No. We'll go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> we'll go anywhere. Um, let's, let's get a couple more questions here for everybody. Uh, this gentleman asked a, a, an interesting question, which I loved. Now, this one I really loved. 
All right, so Colt asks, are the roids still for uh, sale? What? Are the roids still for sale? Are the roids still for sale? What I love about this is, do you want to say anything on that? Roids, steroids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what I love is that so it is, uh, it's Sunday morning here. Yeah. Uh, we got a workout in, we're hanging out, we're talking to people, um, trying to help people, give advice and stuff like that. Living our dreams. Yeah. And then we have a guy that is watching us. Um, trying to be, trying to be smart. That, that sure. actually um, is hating on life. Uh, trying to put up a negative comment, which is interesting because you're actually watching us feeding into what we're doing in our lives And we don't even know you so Colt man uh, from my my recommendation is mindset change the mindset um, So yeah Maybe you woke up on the right side on the, on the left side of the bed. Yeah. yeah, the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> it's interesting um, yeah, yeah I, I had some uh, questions about uh, roids too on uh, on this chart, but I just didn't want to come up with those. Yeah, you, you were saying you were nicer than me. I, I just <laughs> think it's funny that uh, um, there's two aspects of everything. There's the guys that go, hey, so what's the trick? Do I go heavy? Do I go light? Um, is nutrition really important? So they're looking for the fast trick. And then you got the other side of that uh, that's, uh, well, all okay, you have that, to do is take steroids. Yeah. Okay, we, we heard that many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just give us just give us what you give us your protocol. What yeah, you yeah, take, yeah, what yeah, you yeah. inject. That, that's all we need to know. Stop stop that crap. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> I recommend this. If uh if 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 it comes down to any of these guys winning the Mr. Universe or Mr. Olympia and it's just taking steroids, then I don't understand. Um just go out to your doctor. Uh, doctors can give you steroids and take your steroids Five and then you'll look like there. everybody else. Um or does it not work that way? I'm gonna let you guys know this now. It doesn't work that way. So um, for all you guys that are just uh, bitter in that sense, trust me, it's about being the best you you can be. Uh, do what, what's best for you and try to be healthy about this. Uh, the goal here is to be jacked for a lifetime. So that's my suggestion. Uh, I, I want to translate because we don't talk uh, about uh, this stuff too often, so it's very important. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. В общем, Майк Хейда там на его чате спросил по поводу по поводу стероидов. Естественно, что это вопрос животрепещущий, потому что у Майка во всех соцсетях написано, что он натурал там все вот эти дела. Ну, в общем. Всем, как бы, кто давно в этой теме, всем и так все понятно, но тем не менее продолжают задавать еще вопросы некоторые люди. В общем, он сделал опять же такой намек, отсыл на то, что если э, есть информация, если сильно захотеть, можно раздобыть информацию, кто что применяет э, из каких-то победителей, допустим, там мистеров вселенных, которые он становился там победителем, или там мистера Олимпия, допустим, если заморочиться, можно раздобыть эту информацию, кто что применяет в своем экологии. Но тем не менее, несмотря на то, что эта информация доступна, э, несмотря на то, что многие применяют точно такие же протоколы, yeah. мистер Олимпия становится we'll единицы. И, и, ну, в общем, он да, сделал акцент на том, что э, не это решает, не, не, не состав вашего курса там или что-то, а все, что за ним прячется. А, потому что вы сами знаете, что полно людей, которые применяют фармакологию, но тем не менее все равно выглядят очень дерьмово и близко не, при, не приближаются к тому, чтобы становиться мистерами Олимпии. А, поэтому это, это не самое главное. Вот основ, основной его посыл. Okay, uh, I've been training for, was training for six years. I got depressed and stopped, tra stopped training. Got busy with work and haven't been training since then. Uh, it's been two years. How can I uh, motivate myself to get back to bodybuilding track? Let them know the question. Вопрос подписчика Майка. Шесть лет тренировался человек, потом попал, вошел в депрессию, перестал тренироваться, слишком много работы было. Uh, нормально не тренировался уже последние два года. Как я могу снова себя замотивировать вернуться uh, на стезю бодибилдинга? Can you answer that? How can I motivate myself? Well, motivation is something uh, fluid for me. I don't know. It, 
there is no such thing. It's, it's all inside of you. So if you want it, then you go get it. If you, if you don't have this motivation, that, that, then you don't want it. <laughs> That's as simple as that. I don't know. Okay, uh, I, and, and for me, there's no such thing as motivation. Uh, motivation is you wake up, it's Monday, I'm gonna try this week. And then by Tuesday, it's like, ah, I slipped a little bit, I'm done. <laughs> Passion, here's the huge thing. Passion makes us do what we do. Uh, uh, it's that true love that when you're sad, you're depressed, uh, when things are bad, when life is against you, which happens, trust me. Um, passion will keep you moving towards your goal. Um, motivation is the guy uh, that has not found his passion yet. So my recommendation is find the passion. Um, and it can't be, I want to get in shape. Oh, hey, that's cool. I want to get strong for girls. That, it, that it doesn't work. Um, I've trained for 41 years. I've never missed a workout. I don't miss meals. I love this life. Um, I wake up and I need the battle. Uh, that, that's what it comes down to. He, he, and, and I think somebody said, uh, uh, waking up or sleeping five hours and waking up um, and going to a job is stressful. And that's like that grind that you're never happy about. Waking up at four or three in the morning to go do something that I love and, and I get to create my own life that's passion. You wake up differently. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Переведу, конечно же, вопрос по поводу мотивации, который я озвучил с чата Майка. Человек, который ищет мотивацию, он уже как бы не на том пути. Должна быть страсть, должно быть. Это просто дело твоей жизни и все. И когда он ходит на свои тренировки в 4 утра, он, он не ищет мотивацию, чтобы идти и тренироваться в 4 утра. Он идет, он просыпается так рано, чтобы заняться своим любимым делом, тренировкой, чтобы получить результаты, которые, к которым он стремится. И получить кайф. То есть это, это не мотивация. Он просто нашел дело своей жизни, и он просто кайфует от своей жизни. Поэтому... Он, он больше приверженец этого. Мотивация внутри тебя, как бы, она, 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 она в страсти. Она в страсти, она к любви какому-то делу. Вот. Нужно найти это дело и э, полюбить это дело. Ну, найти свое э, любимое дело. Так, все, тавтология пошла. Но на самом деле очень круто сказал. Все правильно. I would like to say, пожалуйста. Um, Please, uh, до свидания, goodbye. До свидания. Um, thank you. This has been fun, and please again, for everybody here. This is our first experience doing live thing. Excuse us if something went wrong or we did not answer all the questions. It was really hard to do that because the questions are just popping up and they keep on. Uh, well, maybe we'll do another one if this one goes well. Yeah, if you guys like this, man, let, let me know too. And I know it's a little slower because we're translating and stuff, but we are actually really trying to, um, I guess, take this to another level to where we're working with everybody in all languages and one of those things. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Uh, I hope you guys got some great information about this. Um, the good, the bad, everything about this. Uh, I love working with this guy. Um, go follow. Uh, make sure that you pay attention to him. He's more impressive to me than... Uh, uh, the majority of the uh, the, the pro guys uh, with me um, that I travel with, uh, he just it doesn't matter when I say the workout is he shows up. Uh, it doesn't matter what I say the body part in he shows up. He's not scared of it. Um, it's a different approach. I, I appreciate that 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 whole concept. Uh, you guys, opportunity, you just grab it. Yeah, it's. It, it goes back to, uh, like I said many times about Mona that impressed me, is that uh, uh, you've got one life, you got one possibility, and I like being around people that just go, I'm going to freaking kick ass. And that's what this guy does, so he pushes me. Thanks, and uh, he brings donuts. Yay! And he brings donuts to the workouts, so yeah, Mona's that happy. That Mike doesn't eat. And it's the <laughs> only workouts Heath Evans shows up to, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I need to find a moment when you can afford yourself to eat a couple of donuts at yes. least. Yeah. Wednesday. Wednesday? Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. We're going to eat a little something. Okay. Thanks, guys.
appreciate it, man. So we need to save it. I don't I don't want to just close it. I, I think you, we can save, save it here. I think you can.